Hi there folks, Kevin Carroll here taking a look ahead to what we are working on for Sunday's edition of the Times Leader. A GoFundMe account has been set up in memory of Larry Wilson, the 67-year-old victim of the tragic fire that has displaced over 100 residents of the Genetti apartment complex, which you can see behind me. I spoke with Wilson's niece who shared favorite memories of her uncle and discussed the need to raise funds for funeral expenses. Bill O'Boyle explains how not one but two Wyoming Valley natives are working on preparing the playing field for Super Bowl 56 in Los Angeles next month. Ed Lewis looks ahead to Sunday's vigil in memory of Wilkes-Barre resident Patricia Morton, whose 2006 shooting death has never been solved. In Lifestyles, columnist Ruth Corkin remembers Brent Evans, founder of a grassroots fundraiser called Car for Cancer, that will mark its 10th anniversary next week. And in sports, you may have heard a certain longtime quarterback is retiring. Check out the news and reaction to Tom Brady's big career move. Remember, folks, nominations for the Times Leader's 2022 Best of the Best Awards are now open and will remain open through tomorrow night. Visit timesleader.com backslash best of the best to nominate your favorite local businesses. As always, folks, we thank you for reading, and if you're not already a Times Leader subscriber, all you have to do is call 829-5000, and we'll get you set up. That's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.